What's going on you guys, Clinger? Welcome back to the channel, Code Commerce. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can conditionally render out information in React based off of a user's selection. So this is my example right here. We have a basic, intermediate, and advanced levels here. And you can see this is actually a component down here being rendered based off of the user's selection. Now I actually got the idea for this little demo from a personal project that I'm working on. It is a service I'll be offering on a website. And um, I'm gonna be offering three different tiers of service. This is on my my sign up page and I wanted to render out information um, specific to each tier based off of which package my user selects. So if you want to see how I did this, then let's go ahead and get started. So here I am in VS Code, just a blank uh, uh, code editor. I am in a folder react dash conditional dash rendering. So go ahead and get a folder in here and let's create our React application. I'm going to be using Vite. So I'm going to type npm create Vite at latest. I'm going to go ahead and put a period in there to install it inside the current directory. I'm going to be using React, and you can use TypeScript if you want. I'm just going to be using JavaScript with a speedy web compiler. Let's go ahead and type npm i or install to install all of our necessary dependencies. Now that it is installed, let's go into our source folder. And just to clean a few things up, I'm going to get rid of the app.css, also this uh, app, or sorry, index.css. So you can go ahead and delete those two. Now we need to go into the main. Yeah, let's get rid of that index.css. And then inside of our app.jsx, let's leave, or let's uh, delete all that. We want to leave the use state in there, so we're gonna use that. And let's just delete all of this in here, okay? So I'm gonna call my state something else. I'm gonna call it a selected item. And we need to have state in here. We'll say set selected item. We need to have state in here because we, wanna, we want something to keep track of which ID or which uh, tier or service in this case. So we want our selected item and set selected item uh, just equal to use state zero. Okay, and let's go ahead and I'm gonna add some data in here. So I'm gonna say data, we'll say const data, and this is just gonna be an array of objects. And inside here, each object, we're gonna have an ID of one, I'll say title um, basic, and then we'll have a description Say so this is the basic package, something like that. And let's go ahead and put a comma and we'll copy this down. This one will be an ID of two, whoops, an ID of three. And this one will be intermediate. This one will be advanced, okay? And this is the intermediate package. And this is the advanced package. So just an array of objects here. Now next, let's go ahead and render these out on the screen. So let's go in the return here open up our curly brackets. What we'll say is data.map, and we'll just put an X in there. You can put whatever you'd like. And since we're rendering out stuff on the screen, let's open up with some parentheses here. And we'll render out a div, and each div is going to have um, a, we're gonna have one div, it's gonna have three different uh, paragraph tags in there. We're gonna have x.id, let's copy it down a few times. <clears throat> we'll have .title, and then the description and should probably give this a key. So we can go ahead and say key and we'll say x.id, something unique. So let's go ahead and, oh, we'll type npm run dev, start up our development server. So I have this one running, so, okay. So this should be what you see right here on the screen. And what I'm gonna do is just give it some basic styling. So in here, I'll say style, <laughs> not, using, uh, not using any tailwind for once. So we'll say border one pixel solid black. If I even remember how to write tailwind or normal CSS, say margin 18 pixels, and we'll say padding of four pixels. Then I'll just say cursor pointer. Okay, let's go ahead and save. All right, so that looks pretty good there. So next, what we want to do is, um, let's create our components, okay? So inside here, I'm gonna create just a folder, say components. Then inside here, we're gonna have a basic tier, right? And then we'll also have uh, a advanced.jsx. Whoops, that's a folder. Let's go ahead and delete that, start over. There we go. And this is gonna be inside our source folder, sorry about that. So components slash uh, basic.jsx, just like that. And then we'll want uh, intermediate.jsx, if I can spell. And let's go ahead and put RFCE in there just to generate. We just want some components in there. Uh, and then we'll have an advanced.jsx. Okay, so advanced, 
basic, and then intermediate. And we can go ahead and close those. Um, we do want to import those, so let's just go up here and we'll import, we'll say basic from components. There we go, and we'll just copy that down. We'll have our intermediate, intermediate, and advanced, there we go. All right, so next what we want to do, we're already rendering out our data on the screen, right? So what we want to do here, just below, here we can say, uh, we can let our user know which package is selected. So we could say something like, close this, we can say you have item, we'll say selected, item selected, something like that. So um, we actually need a function here. So uh, something to um, update our state, right? So we'll go ahead and add that on the div there. And what we'll say on click and inside here, what we're gonna do We'll just run a function. And what we're gonna do is just set selected item to ID, or sorry, X dot ID, just like that. So right now is zero, and whenever we click on this, it should update our state with the ID that we're mapped through. So if we click on one, we have one selected, three, we have three selected, two, and so on and so forth. And you'll notice if we refresh right now, we have zero, because that's our initial state. So once we select, um, this state gets updated. Now, how do we render out uh, this each unique component on the screen underneath? So let's just scroll down a little bit and we'll put that right here below this P tag. And what we're gonna say, let's open up our curly brackets and we can add in our state and we'll just use basically um, like a Boolean value, right? We'll say if selected item equal to one is true, then we're gonna render out the basic component because the basic component is equal to is ID one. Okay, so, uh, or, the, or the state rather, okay? So next we can say the same thing. If it's equal to two, then we'll want to render out the intermediate. And then finally, we'll do advanced for three. So let's go ahead and save that there. So again, we click on this, we have the basic component being rendered. If we click on the intermediate, we're now showing the intermediate component and if we click on the advanced, we're now showing the advanced component. So pretty cool little logic there. I think that's going to wrap up this video, but that is how I am conditionally rendering out information inside of my React project. So hope you got some value out of this. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you smash the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.